every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We set it inside Ladies the octagon of Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 123 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, shot guy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he landed the right hand there. finish. Circling towards the left now. Spinning back fist. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Sneaky head kicks. Look 
at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Flush right hand is true. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Fixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Lands flush with that right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big kick. Some body shots. Nice straight punch. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. And he gets that, that was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Unable to connect with the right. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Massive 
massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you take these kicks after kicks after this kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, man, this is one thing you... His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Just missed on that spinning attack. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beats his leg up. He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. And he is back up to his feet. He's hurt fast. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. My triangle, my triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grasp everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Fight schedule for five five minute rounds. Nice punch there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. 
Oh, Superman punch. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easy. Oh, oh, put him to sleep. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got him hurt bad. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh! Just like that, the fight is over. He got it. <laughs> A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he threw it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The